Hi everybody, this is me Vinu Venkatesh again on behalf of Sai Education for Competitive Examinations. So we're going to start a new topic today. Uh, it's called Data Interpretation. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's look at the first question. So here what happens is you'll be given a lot of data or information about something and the questions will be based on this. So you have to read and understand the question and the data correctly. Okay. So there are two car manufacturing companies X and Y. Okay. The sale of cars by these two different companies is given in different years. So in 2011 X sold 2000 cars, Y sold 1000 like that they have given till 2015. So what is the first question? If the sale of the company X in the year 2016 is increased by 20% with respect to year 2015 and the sale of Y in the year 2016 with respect to the year 2015 is decreased by 10%, then find the total sale of the company X and Y together in year 2016. So sale of X in 2015 is 5000. They are saying that the sale of X in 2016 is 20% higher than the sale in 2015. So the sale in 2015 will be 5000 into 20% of 5000 plus 5000 which can be written as 5000 into open brackets 1 plus 20% which can be written as 5000 into if you take the LCM of 1 and 20% 20 by 100 you will get 5000 into 120 by 100 which is 6000 okay similarly for y it's similarly for y it's an increase of uh, sorry it decreased by 10% so we can say it is 4000 into 1 minus 10 by 100 or 4000 minus 10 by 100 into 4000 that is the same as 4000 into brackets 1 minus 10 by 100 instead of doing that we can simply say the sale was um, 4000 into 90 by 100 why 90 because the sale in uh, 2016 for y was 10% less than the sale in 2015 so uh, that means the sale was only 90% of the sale in 2015 the sale in 2016 was only 90% of the sale in 2015 which is 3600 when you add the sale of x and y in 2016 you will get 6000 plus 3600 which is 9600 and that is the correct answer it's option number b okay question number two find the ratio of the company x in year 2011 2013 and 2015 they mean sale of the company x in these three years together to the total sale of company Y in 2012 and 14 together. So simply add the sales of company X in 2011, 2012 and uh, which is this? Sorry, 2011, 2013 and 2015. So 2000 plus 4500 plus 5000. Is that what they have done? Yes, 2000, 4000, right? Add the sales of company Y in these two years and then simply take the ratio 11,500 divided by 7,000. You'll get 23 is to 14, which is the correct answer. Option A. Okay. Question number three Total cars sold by both companies in year 20, 2012 are what percent more or less than the total cars sold by both companies in the year? 2013 so 2012 total cars is 3500 plus 2500 which is 6000 and 2013 it is 7500 so what percentage is the total cars in 2012 less than the total cars sold in 2013 so we first take 7500 minus 6000 which will give me 1500 divided by um, where are we where are we yeah 1500 divided by 7500 into 100 which is 20 percent now read the question carefully they are asking by what percentage are the total cars sold by both companies in 2012 
more or less than the total cars sold by both companies in 2013. So here we have divided the difference between the two years by 7500 which is the total number of cars in 2013. Why? Because the question clearly says by what percent is it more or less than the total cars sold by both companies in 2013. To total cars sold by both companies in year 2012 are what percent more or less more or less than the total car sold by both companies in the year 2013 so they are asking for this percentage increase or decrease compared to the total car sold by both companies in 2013 which is to 7500 so that's why we are dividing this by 7500 into 100 to get percentage which is 20 percentage okay option number d suppose the question was by what percentage did total cars sold in 2013 increase or decrease compared to the total cars sold in the year 2012 in this case it would be the it would be 1500 divided by 6000 because we are we are saying by what percent is the total number of cars sold in the year 2013 more or less than the total number of uh, cars sold in the year 2012. So here we are saying uh, uh, what is the percentage increase or decrease between the two years compared to or than the total number of cars sold in 2012. So here in the second case which I am talking about the denominator should be 6000 because we are comparing the increase or decrease to the original year that is the 2012 year okay so be very careful when you read the question okay. number four find the difference between the average number of cars sold by company x from 2011 to 2015 and the average number of cars sold by company y from the y is missing here 2011 to 2015 so the first instinct is you will find the total of all five years for x divided by five why five because there are five years same you do for y and then you subtract them but that may take time so the easier way is you add all these years for x you add all these years for y subtract them and then divide that by 5 okay that's what they have done that is an easier and quicker way of doing it see 19,000 is a total number of cars sold by x in the five years 2011 to 2015 minus 15,000 total that is the total number of cars sold by y from 2011 to 2015 divided by 5 okay very simple so you can do that number 5 find the total number of cars sold by both companies from 2012 to 2014 so how do you add it you add the total number of cars sold by x from 2012 to 2014 plus the total number of cars sold by y from 2012 to 2014 that answer will be 22,000 okay do it yourself uh, it's not difficult oh there is some typo here because this answer choice is not there here so please uh, try it out maybe there is some typo here all right so we'll stop here for today we'll continue with question number two in the next class so many of these questions are very simple and basic only thing is you should understand what they have given and uh, what they are asking for okay so please uh, keep practicing because if you lose practice then you will lose the flow all right so take care and all the best see you next time bye bye